Hi there, it's nice to have you back and if you're new to this channel, uh, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own outdoor clock for under 20 bucks. Well, I decided this winter I wanted an outdoor clock on my arena because when I'm looking at my watch, when I'm holding the reins, um, it's disrupting what I'm doing with my reins and taking my focus off what I should be doing. It's also unbalancing my horse because the contact is uneven because I'm having to pull back my sleeve to expose my watch. And on cold days, I really want to be out to cover my wrist. By the way, I'm wearing this new wrist uh, band. This is by a company called Four Ocean, and this is actually made out of recycled plastic out of the ocean. Um, so anything that you can do to reduce plastic waste or to contribute to recycling, then please do so. It's a real world problem. Have a look uh, at, well, if you're on YouTube, then look up the Alliance to End Plastic Waste. It's a fantastic initiative to reduce plastic waste in the commercial sphere. But even if you can reduce your own plastic waste by just a little bit because a little bit counts oh, and if you want some ideas on how to reduce plastic waste then I'll put them down below in the description and I'll also put a couple of links down below in the description so back on to a outdoor clock I had a look around for outdoor clocks and found that I couldn't find anything for the price that I was wanting to pay which was $50 or less and I wanted to be able to have a large analog clock on my arena. Actually, it didn't really matter whether it was analog or digital, but a large clock on my arena so I didn't have to worry about looking at my, my watch. All sorts of reasons to make sure that I'm not uh, training for too long, but also so mostly because I want to be running on time. I'm, I'm working two horses first thing in the morning before work, and I'm always running late. So this helps me keep on track. So I made myself an outdoor clock for my outdoor arena, and it seems to be going really well. It survived a few storms, so now I'm going to put one on my round yard. So I'll show you how I did it. So what I have here is clock, chip clock from a department store, which was $5. A plastic container is about five bucks also from a department store. So come over to my workbench and I'll show you what I'm up to. So what we have here is plastic clock, just a cheap $5 clock from a department store, a plastic container which can also be an outdoor pot. I had to make sure that the clock fitted within the plastic container, so I took the clock along with me when I bought this container. Also got my drill and what's called hex head screws, which I like to use. I'll use, be using these to fix the clock and the plastic container to the outdoor post. Measuring tape and an old block of wood. And a drill bit that I made sure was the right size for the hex head screws that I was using. And I use the old block of wood to drill above so that I don't drill into my workbench. Okay, so battery in the clock, set the time, all easier to do now rather than later. Make sure that whatever screw you're using to attach the clock is going to be the right size to fit within the little hole that you can hang it from. Then measure the distance from the edge of the clock to where the screw is going to be and then measure this same distance within the plastic container. Mark that place because we're going to drill a hole into that spot and that's where the screw will go through to hang the clock within the plastic container. Screwing the hole, well drilling the holes before we screw it to the post helps to stop the plastic from splitting. Also makes the job easier than when you're up a ladder trying to fix it to the post. Okay. 
It's good just to check now that it all is going to sit okay within the pot. Once again, it's easier to do this at the workbench rather than up a ladder. Looks like it's good to go. The hex head screws that I'll use to fix the container to the post. And this is what I use to fix the hex head screws. You just get these from a hardware store. Alrighty, time to fix the clock to the outdoor post. If you're worried about heights, of course, you can get somebody else to do this or just hang your clock a little bit lower down. So there we go, there's a weatherproof outdoor clock for under 20 bucks. This is the outdoor clock on my arena, it's in a plastic pot that I've reused. That notice board underneath actually is an idea I got from Brett Parbury to have the dressage tests on the arena. I hope you found this idea useful and it'll save you from spending too much money on an outdoor clock and you'll get to reuse some plastic. Thanks again for watching, hope to see you soon.